<laughs> the real question it's is like, will you pee on? Please. What? Will you pee on? <laughs> hey, he's PTSD! You tricked him! Another episode of After, after class, class, where we talk about anything and everything after class. So if you're wondering why we are all in different outfits in the upcoming content, it's because our previous episode, we had too much um, juicy, juicy content. content that we must show but also cannot remove. <laughs> so that's why we, are ha we have another episode. Part two, Part two of episode three, yeah. yeah. So for this episode, we focus on like more of hazing. hazing yeah. yeah, so I guess I can just tell you guys to sit back, maybe take some popcorn, some snacks. drinks, some snacks, and we are coming to you with some very juicy content. Ooh. Oh! Juicy! <laughs> juicy! <laughs> enjoy! Hope you enjoy! For me, what I experienced was that okay, not I experienced, but I heard. heard yeah, after I was a participant of like mm. my hall camp, what I heard was that they would like take off phone numbers, and then they would have like this mass like bonding session within all the seniors. Yeah, all the seniors. It's called seniors camp. So they will all like sit together, and then they will flash like the numbers, the phone numbers. I mean, mm. like in Your yeah. No, then, then they will stock lah. So they will save your number on mm. WhatsApp, Telegram, try to find your username, try to find your Instagram. And then after that, they will have like this entire drinking game session whereby they beat for freshies to join. So if you win a drinking game or if you drink a lot, then you can get the people that you want lah. So what happens after that is that if like for example, you can trade people. Okay. Like maybe you try to get the chobu inside your your, mm. your, your clan so they can what? have the, you can win the hall pageant D, that kind of thing lah. So it's like they choose their freshie mm. in, in that way and after that they... Uh, they trade, for example, like someone else got a sister but want to want to cross over, then they'll trade someone lah. Like you have to give us a chobu, then we'll give you your sister lah. I know like no. some, like, I've heard of extreme cases, like they have like Excel sheets of like the freshie. <gasps> then they'll like, Excel they'll sheet. stop right, <laughs> then they'll, they'll rate. Oh. Like based on like, first impression kind. Oh my wow. god. This effort man. No, this this, this before you even effort, step into school yeah, right? and then all, all these are like carried out and I feel like they don't think there's anything wrong with it because I it's guess it's so because it's tradition. tradition. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so, yeah, that word tradition. So they always yeah. be like, tradition always is like, be like, like convenient. We are doing this yeah, because so, our seniors did this. So yeah. you know like we're so just let's do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Sadly like you need to be a bit more guarded. Yeah, so you have to draw the line. You have to learn your boundaries. Yeah, but sometimes the boundaries come like after you experience certain right. stuff. Yeah, so speaking of boundaries, right, there's always like this thing before you come to uni, the seniors try to break your boundaries. So that's the hazing, right? Hazing? Yeah, hazing. Like, like be when you come to uni, the seniors will try to like, do many, many like things to like, push you across your boundary right, and then, right. and then try to make it seem like it's a tradition. Right. Yeah. That's the right. craziest I think Brenda has a lot of experience. Let's, yeah. let's hear what you have to Story time! Story time! <laughs> 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 story time. I'm from like, the very famous NP. And just just P. Oh, what's MP? MP is Nia Collie. Oh, what's it called? NP. NP. I don't know why it's not NP. NP. Okay, because okay, so so like like for for context for you is that like a few years back there was this orientation camp and then there was students that were peed on by their GLs. Oh my god. Mm. And GLs that was like their hazing. Group leader. Group leader. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's like their form of like hazing. Because you know like in uni there's always like, mm. in, in uni or in tertiary education there's always like mm. a phase for camp that there's always hazing because they need to welcome mm. you to the camp. And break your boundaries. You break you guys in to make you guys Tradition. closer. Yeah. yeah, how you make friends in uni is you go through all these kind of hazing together. Yeah. So as in, I guess for, for myself, hazing mm. comes to the form that They'll put you through like a series of like trials. They call it trials. trials. So there's like dirty games, la. Oh. There's like certain activities. And there are certain camps that I went for, like they will they will make you not like they'll force you to stay awake. Oh my god. During the camp. If so you fall how? asleep. Well like the whole night? Yeah. So if you fall asleep, they will draw on your face. Oh or if you fall god. asleep, they will duct tape you to the floor. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Ow. 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 <laughs> and there's that that culture in which like you have to 
Take it. Take it. Yes. If not, you are like not not worthy for for this camp or not worthy for this like group. Or count that as weak, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so, right. like socially, you're not as cool as is, us. And the thing you're is, if you ask them, right. if you ask them like, hey, why are you not doing this? Oh, uh, last time I tradition, did this, yeah, tradition. Yeah, tradition. Like, so that's what we're doing. So mm. you cannot exactly like fight against it because. You can't argue with tradition. Yeah, how can you? That's what you say, right? You can't argue against tradition. You want to pee on me, then I cannot say cannot pee on me because people pee on you before that. Okay, lor. The real question is: Will you pee on? What will you pee on? Hey, hey, sweetie, sweetie, you tried. I got pee on my leg. Oh, legs. Full on pee. Full on pee. It's not so nasty. Why do I have full on pee? Then I got halfway pee. No, but then it's like just a little bit. Stop this. Talk about But yeah. So the other the other cases also like you know like you've got to drink. Like the drinking culture is such a big thing, and if you don't drink, you're not cool. And like the first night, you gotta drink. Yeah, and the fresh heat though that means it doesn't end. Yeah, yeah. You drink potabo lampa, that kind of thing. It's like. Yeah, it's toxic yeah. because like if you don't fit in or if like, you don't do it, mm. then you're just like, how huh, why you, you think you're too cool for for us? You think you're oh, you, you be, are so upright and you don't be part of the group, is it? You think yeah. that you know like mm. uh, this group is blah, blah, so you don't be part of it. They say like, like the peer pressure comes in because like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it so that you know like. You can, can I just say something <laughs> like yeah. for my on my first day of orientation camp, like one of the camps I went to, I cried. Yeah, because because I couldn't take like the dirty games because like they play on this field and then the thing is that it was muddy. It rained the previous day and they pour like soapy water onto the grass and like okay there was barely any grass. It was just mud and they pour like even more soapy yeah. waters on it to make it even more muddy. And then we had like games play and then like the thing is that when you step into the grass, right, you can see the grass moving. So there's a lot of like animals living there. Mm-hmm. And I no. yeah, and then when you. Walk right, it's like the mud is like going between your toes. <laughs> yeah, and and, and and I really couldn't take it, you know. And then I, I felt like it was like way too much for me. And the camp chairs mm. were like so vulgar, like it was really really vulgar. And, and I was like, when they first told me right, like the 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 so called like chair lyrics, I was so Stunned. shocked that my face went red. Yeah, cause there was like so many like Hokkien vulgarities inside, and then it's like like until it's like. Includes your mom, your ancestors, and everybody else. Oh. Yeah, you, you kind of get what I mean, right? Yeah. So it's like I, I didn't want to say it, but at the same time, it's like the GRs are like, oh, uh, everybody okay? Okay, let's con, let's go learn. And I felt very uncomfortable. With you, you cannot exactly like, say no, also. Because yeah, because if you say no, yeah. you're the only one who say no. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna say, oh, uh, okay, uh, then you don't cheer lah. Then you don't cheer, you feel like eh. You're you're left like, out. Yeah, I'm left out. So, right. yeah, so I couldn't. I think like, by day one of camp, like in the middle of it, I just couldn't take it anymore. I cried. Yeah, and I look like a complete loser, la, but like, at least I got to see all of the games, you know? Yeah, and, and I guess like, it, didn't, it really didn't fit me. Because, like, there's this part in like uni camps where there's like this SP, the secret partner mm-hmm. thing. So they separate the guys and the girls. So the guys are supposed to, like, I don't know, impress the girls and, like, do some. Haze, like it's just hazing like, basically. Yeah. But they perform they make it like performance oh, to the girls. So basically the guy girl and guy is like paired up. Like they'll blindfold and then, Yeah, they'll blindfold and make you like do oh. some like uh, uh talking oh. and whatever the previous day. So when the guy serious, serious. Yeah for the actual like <laughs> SP right on the day where you're supposed to find your partner, the guy's supposed to kind of know what the girl uh not yeah, supposed to like, talk about your your you're supposed to talk about your partner, about yeah. your talk, what to talk about, yeah. what things you just Yeah, about. but with all the information right, they'll ask the guy to come into like a whole two rows of girls and then the GLs and whoever will actually haze them like, basically. So I remember that like guys taking out their shirt is the number one. Like when they come in like what's what's their shirt for? It's just to take out. And then like there were like games where but it's like Yeah <laughs> Just to take it out. There were games where they do like nipple tuck and wall, and then they they pinch the clothes pin to like the yeah, and then they do like nipple tuck and wall. <laughs> I feel like we are brainwashed into thinking that's fun. Yeah, but it's not funny. Mm. It's like okay, and then like there are some things about like for example, crack an egg on the guy belly and lick off the yolk, and like um, that's so healthy. Yeah, and, and like giving a <laughs> giving a date raw fish <laughs> CPR. That's not healthy. Yeah, or like kissing a toad. Like they actually have a toad. Yeah, you must look more to mom eh. Like. With like this many dead fish. And and there's like a lot more like more stuff just like that lah. And I felt like it was really unnecessary. 
Yeah, it's like for entertainment purposes, they make it fun. Like, they make it seem like it's supposed to be fun. But whether as a participant, I felt like it was fun to watch. No, I didn't find that it was fun. If you ask me, I mean, I did enjoy my, my, my time as a freshie and, okay, okay. Like, and, and, and the entire experience because yeah. you're doing it with your friends, your friends and you're mm. in a sense you're suffering together and because of that you're bond together more mm. because you're mm. going through hard experiences together so I guess that's one of the reasons why like camps like to do like hazing because you're mm. going through like this tough thing together and you're yeah. come out better person kind of thing because you have something to talk about yeah. you know like after you leave this camp as a freshie also you try mm. to Conform to like social norms, so yeah, like you're trying yeah, to, yeah. to you're trying be to that person that you want yeah. to, you want them, they, yeah. they want you to be. Yeah. So you're trying to fit in also, so mm. it's like trying to balance between like your self identity, but at the same time also mm. trying to conform to like what everyone generally thinks mm. is. But I think popular. COVID, COVID kind of like Changed stopped this. that tradition yeah. mm. because like everything went online, everything went virtual. Yeah. Okay, but I don't know. I've I've never been a senior in the orange. <laughs> I don't know what my OGLs did to me, but online you can't really do much hazing. Yeah, you hazy. can't do much screening. Later like. in the future, like somehow they manage to find something to do. Actually, I do. think like I nowadays, they, if they want to screen you, they can yeah. do it more easily. Eh. Yeah. Okay, that's because like now a lot of people's social media is like open. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Compared to when I was a freshie right now, maybe not so many people open up their yeah. social media. So there, there were still times by day. I, I mean, I heard. Yeah, I heard of this senior who like, they say they chose this girl's number because it was a foreign number and they thought it was going to be an Ang Mo. But it was not. But it wasn't la. Oh. But oh. it was another country la. But then, but then like, they thought it was going to be that. Uh-huh. So it's like, that's how they cherry pick the freshies. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the point's like, right. Yeah. And, and wow. yeah, I don't think it's like so necessary to like screen a person. Like maybe perhaps it's like, it's okay to like see whether these like numbers are legit, but yeah. but like it's, it's another thing to be like picking the freshies and then like sort like yeah. choosing them based on like say their looks or their talents mm. and and that kind of thing and then trading them around like yeah. among the clans like it's like commodity. Yeah, man, they're humans. Yeah. You're not you're not meant to be traded around yeah. for. <laughs> so I guess that wraps up our additional juicy content from our previous episodes. So we hope you've enjoyed our tea spilling session about orientation cats. I guess if you like what you've seen, you can click here for more and click here to subscribe. And we will see you after 